hey guys welcome back um so today i kind of wanted to talk to you about my social security uh, slash disability claim um oh <gasps> sorry so um i have applied once in georgia and then we moved in the middle of my assessment, however you would like to put it. Um, anyways, I had already gotten like a doctor's appointment with who they wanted me to see and all this other stuff. Well, I saw a doctor here and everything and um, did all the paperwork and filled everything out and it was really difficult. And hard to explain some of it because I don't know about you guys. I don't always, I mean, when you've lived with it for your whole life, how are you supposed to know that that's abnormal? Because that's why we didn't know that I had hypermobile joints because that's was just always a part of my body. It wasn't like one day, oh my gosh, like this horrible thing just randomly popped up. No, it just like slowly progressed, but was always there. So, anyways, there's always that, and, um, so I made the claim, and when I had done it, it was before we had the diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and, um, I was mostly just, like, for my mental health kind of a thing, um, because for those of you who don't know, I have OCD, PTSD, GAD, um, dysthymia, and depression, um, so working with all of that they really my counselor from before this time really um thought that I was gonna get it due to kind of that lacking you know um so anyways um we are going to as soon as we get the official results of our genetic testing go ahead and appeal and see what we can do um, it's kind of bittersweet right now because I'm hoping that with some of this, like, physical and occupational therapy, we can go ahead and, uh, move forward and I can work, like, uh, more of a normal person, if that makes sense. Um, so, that is long-term my hope, you know. There is, starting in September, a dental assistance program, and, um, it's something that I would be able to afford right now. Um, due to some of the offers that I found out about and things like that and I've checked it out it seems to have plenty of openings kind of all over so um, I'm thinking about going ahead and do that doing that for those of you who are kind of newer to my channel I have been talking about going ahead and doing things like that just getting something small associate certification whatever it may be so that I can go ahead and just have something that I can work and do that's pretty laid back and you know what I mean like just fairly chill doesn't require any strenuous work until I can get my health in order and go back to like um I don't want to say college full-time because I will still be in college full-time but I'll be able to be more successful I think in it um I mean, I just like, Lila, I can't talk today. <laughs> just like since we've been here, um, I've just been barely passing, you know what I mean? And um, I think if I had the money from this other like little certification program, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, I would be able to better afford like tutors and things like that that I need to make my life like a little bit easier be able to provide myself with some of my some of the things I do to accommodate myself like voice to text software um there's like a pen that records the notes and stuff and then like writes them out for you kind of thing it's really hard to explain and I know I'm explaining it horribly um but there are a lot of resources for people with dysgraphia and my other health issues and things like that. So, but they're all really pricey. 
you know of course when you have medical issues it can never just be like free you know but if I was a drug addict or something like that they would just pay for everything for me so it's frustrating it's definitely frustrating um but we are working towards that uh we'll, we're gonna gather all this other information now and then we'll have by then when we get the results of my Ehlers Danlos we'll also have the results of my um heart ultrasound it's like echocardiogram I'm not exactly sure though um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot though and see where we are from there and hopefully I'll get approved this next round but I have a friend who has been trying for almost three years now I think it is I don't remember but it's been a long time um so much so she finally did go ahead and get a lawyer um I right now can't afford a lawyer I'm gonna have to wait a little while until I've accumulated enough time to be able to afford to give him or her a percentage of my um lump sum lump sum of, like basically my back pay okay um they work on kind of contingency they look at your case and they're like okay i can help you get this um I, basically they don't charge you until afterwards until you've won so that's why they kind of look at your case like can you actually get this you know and um i do have some resources where i have some people who can advise me they may not necessarily be able to represent me but they can for sure advise me and where i need to go who i need to talk to how what is some wordings that will help them better understand what i'm trying to get across um yeah so i mean that is kind of the game plan for right now i have let me just make it clear i have officially been rejected this information will be what I'm appealing with because at the time we didn't have everything. Now I'm diagnosed fibromyalgia. I'm also diagnosed um, with the Ehlers-Danlos and I'm trying to think. It seems like there is one other thing that I've had added on there, but I've always had um, GERD or acid reflux. It just kind of depends on who you talk to the official thing is GERD, but, you know, anyways, um, so we're just gonna keep working and trying to get that around, um, Allie's been, like, my little buddy here lately, she's still loving, she's actually just laying at my feet right now, but anyways, I think that's really it for this video, um, if you guys have any tips or tricks or, like, a website that I should be looking at to see about social security benefits and things like that, uh, please leave it in the comments below. I'm very open to new ideas and things of that nature because I can't expect my parents to continue to do everything that they have to do for me, um, because of all my different issues, um... So, yeah, hopefully all this physical and occupational therapy will maybe make it so I don't need it. But for now, I need some kind of partial disability until I'm able to get back on my feet. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I know this video was kind of all over the place. Mostly because I'm really frustrated and I don't know what to do. Um, the people who had advised me to do this live in Georgia. And obviously there's only so much that they can do since um, we no longer live there. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching and being so supportive. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!